Police say a man stole an ambulance, took it on a joy ride through several cities, then injured two officers. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Police say they've never seen something like this before. And as 7 Action News reporter Nana Santio Bonsu shows us, it was a scene show so shocking bystanders took their phones out and started recording. Yes, this police chase involves several departments, including Taylor Southgate in Melvindale, where we are right now. Behind me over here at that black fence is where police were able to box in the stolen ambulance before pulling out the man they say tried to run officers over. Somebody stole an ambulance in Melvindale. You heard right. Someone stole an ambulance from a convenience store in Taylor and led police on a chase throughout Southgate and into Detroit. You can see the blue and white Superior Ambulance heading west on Lafayette Boulevard as several patrol cars follow. Ralph Gaines was outside when he heard the siren, so he took out his phone and started recording. That's only something that you will see in a movie or a GTA or a game. He says the man behind the wheel of the ambulance looked like he was going out for a joyride. Literally, he's throws up the peace sign as police chase him into the city of Melvindale. I seen the whole thing. Michelle Redder thought it was just another emergency. I didn't think nothing about it being a chase. Thought maybe somebody's being rushed to the hospital. Until she saw a dozen more police cars chase the ambulance. They got him. They got him. Melvindale Police Chief Dan Jones says the ambulance tried to make a U-turn here at this intersection at Allen and Greenfield. As police tried to box him in, you can see the driver starts ramming the police cars. All the police cars swarmed around him. He rammed into the police cars, knocked one of the police officers down. He's trying to ram the police officers. Chief Jones says one of his officers was very close to being crushed. He says he hyperextended his knees and another officer suffered a knee sprain. Something needs to be done about it. He could have killed somebody. Police say the driver tried to resist arrest, but is now in custody waiting for his arraignment date. He's at Greenfield and Allen Road, you all. Why an ambulance? Out of all things, the EMS, Chief Jones tells me both of his officers are out of the hospital. One is back at work and the other is off due to the injuries. For 7 Action News, I'm Nana Santio Bonsu. And police tell us the medics were inside the convenience store for drinks during the time the ambulance was stolen. We did reach out to Superior Ambulance Service to get more on their policy when it comes to turning the ambulance off, and we haven't heard back yet.